नमस्ते डिस्टिंग्विश प्रोफेसर माई डियर स्कॉलर्स ऑफ शांति निकेतन और विश्व भारती द टाइटल ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज स्लिप एंड the available research work of meditation to influence the architecture of sleep let us try to understand what is sleep sleep is a unconscious state of mind from which a person can be aroused sleep is of two types an rem sleep and rem sleep NREM stands for non rapid eye movement sleep and REM stands for rapid eye movement sleep when we look into NREM NREM is consist of three stages and they are N1 or transition stage from wakefulness to sleep N2 which is light sleep and N3 N3 is otherwise called slow wave sleep deep sleep or sound sleep REM sleep REM stands for rapid eye movement sleep it is otherwise called active sleep paradoxical sleep or dream sleep the equipment that we use to assess the architecture of sleep in an indi individual called polysomnography poly means many somno means sleep and graphy means recording so in other words we can say it is a machine that records many parameters or many variables at a time during sleep what are those variables there are three distinct variables distinct parameters that we record and which are the direct parameters of sleep and they are eeg eeg stands for electroencephalogram eog stands for electroculogram emg stands for electromyogram beside this eeg emg and eog we record electrocardiogram we record breathing rate heart rate oxygen saturation temperature of the air using a thermistor we record the breathing rate from the chest breathing rate from the abdomen we record the body position the snoring so many variables we record at a time n1 and n2 these are the two stages of nrem sleep and n3 is called deep sleep or slow wave sleep. so when we look into eeg when we look into eeg the n1 and n2 are also called superficial stages of sleep and rem or rapid eye movement sleep is called dream sleep similarly n3 is called sound sleep or deep sleep or slow wave sleep we'll try to understand the eeg structure of n1 n2 and n3 and dream sleep in n1 n1 is also called transition phase from wakefulness to sleep 
N2 is called light slit. So during N1 and N2, we will find more density of EEG wave, mixture of EEG waves with low amplitude. But in N3 slit, which is otherwise called slow wave slit or deep slit, we will find the waves with big heights. And these waves are called delta waves. Or, or in N3, we will find the mixture of theta and delta wave. Theta corresponds to drowsiness and delta corresponds to deep sleep. When we look into the EEG structure of rapid eye movement sleep or dream sleep, again we will find the EEG like N1 and N2. So it is the mixture of waves. It is the high density wave with low amplitude, low heights. In addition to this, during REM sleep, we also found a unique wave called sa tooth wave. Sa means you know the instrument that you use to cut a timber or the waves looks like a comb, the edges of the comb. Now coming back to EMG, EMG called electromyogram. So it is a device that records the electrical activity of the muscles. So in the superficial stage in N1, in other words we will say N1 and N2, we will find the high activity in EMG. During deep sleep, we will find little low activity. But during dream sleep, the EMG activity or the muscle activity is almost nil, is almost negligible. And that is the reason why during dream sleep, you do not wake up, you do not move your limbs, you never nod your head. Sometime during dream sleep, when a ghost comes and sits on your chest, you feel as if the ghost is sitting on your chest, but you are not in a position to drive him out, drive the ghost out. You are not in a position to drive the ghost out because you are not in a position to move your hands, to move your legs, nod your head. That is because there is no activity in the muscles of your skeleton. In dream sleep, there is little activity or there is activity in the diaphragm muscle, activity in the muscles of the middle ear, there is activity in the eyes. Except these three muscles, there is no activity in the other muscle, in the other muscles of the skeleton. What about E? EOG. EOG stands for electroculogram. So in the electroculogram, in the superficial stages of NREM sleep or N1 and N2 sleep, you will find the slow and rolling movement of the eyeball. During slow wave sleep or deep sleep, again you will find the very slow rolling movement of the eyeball. But during dream sleep, the movement of your eyeballs are very sharp and random. That is the reason why, or because of the random and sharp movement of the eyeball, the sleep is called rapid eye movement sleep. Because the movement of the eyeballs are very, very rapid. Why do we sleep? Researchers have failed to understand what is the necessity behind sleep. But many researchers conclude with variable or with variable ideas, variable conclusion. In other words, I would say it is, it is very difficult to conclude why do we sleep? 
we sleep to restore our energy our body is like a rechargeable battery when you sleep your body gets recharged and you feel fresh during the day we sleep to boost up our immune system we sleep to consolidate our memory if you do not sleep you will start developing forgetfulness you cannot recall anything you will not remember anything we sleep because certain hormones are synthesized during deep sleep and i would say one of the hormone which is synthesized during deep sleep is growth hormone people used to say if you do not get sufficient amount of deep sleep the growth of your body will be retarded now we'll try to highlight the research work that were carried out by the various researchers many research have been done by the transcendental group of scientists the transcendental group of scientists are travis wallace mason etc travis and his associate in 19th late 19th century they demonstrated that there is appearance of slow and rolling movement of the eyeball in long term meditators what does it mean it clearly suggests that muscles of your eyeball of our eyeball become relaxed even during dream sleep but it was that this was noticed only in case of meditators not the people like us it was reported only in meditators so let me repeat in meditators meditators the movement of the eyeball we are not found to be random random and sharp they we are very slow and synchronized movement suggestive of relaxation of the muscles in the eyeball in 1997 a group of scientists they also used transcendental meditation they were mason and his associate and they published this paper in a leading journal called sleep it's an american journal so in this research paper or in this trial they divided the subject into three groups beginners intermediate practitioners and long term practitioners in long term practitioners they reported high density of theta and delta waves during deep sleep not only this in long term meditator they also found the interspersing or the mixture of alpha and delta waves in other words i would say delta corresponds to deep sleep and alpha corresponds to wakeful awareness or alertful state for the scientists concluded that it could be or this state of mind can be correlated with the fourth state of consciousness called turiya using sudarshan kriya couple of scientists from nimhans national institute of mental health and neurosciences they have carried out good number of research trials dr bindu kuti and her group so in sudarshan kriya practice or following the sudarshan kriya practice there was appearance of low frequency wave oscillation in frontal and parietal lobe 
what does it oxalate for? What does it suggest? Generally, when you are awake and when I record the EEG from the frontal lobe, so I will find the waves with big heights. But in Sudarshan Kriya practitioners, it was found that in all stages of sleep, including wakefulness, so there were synchronized oscillation of the waves, suggestive of the plasticity of the brain. In other words, the plasticity remains intact in the brain and this was reflected in the EEG screen in the form of oscillatory waves in the frontal and parietal lobe. Plasticity means plasticity means the malleable nature of the brain. If you wish, your brain can grasp anything. Your brain can understand anything and everything. You can do wonders. So meditators can go to this state or these practitioners can go to this state or they can have better plasticity of the brain. Following Raja Yoga meditation and cyclic meditation, there were wonderful results. Following Brahma Kumari Raja Yoga meditation, the scientists reported enhancement of the slow wave sleep or deep sleep and reduction of the rapid eye movement sleep or dream sleep. So this clearly suggests that both Raj Brahma Kumari Raja Yoga meditation and the cyclic meditation improves the quality of sleep which includes slow wave sleep. In Vipassana meditators it was observed that there was enhancement of dream sleep or REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. In addition to deep sleep, in addition to deep sleep. Or in other words, I would say more than deep sleep, there was enhancement of REM sleep. Why REM sleep? REM sleep corresponds to spiritual attainment. So a meditator, in a meditator, spiritual attainments can be reflected in the form of good amount of dream sleep when we assess the EEG using a polysomnography. Following the practice of many other categories of meditation, there were appearance of a rare wave called gamma wave. Mainly Dr. Bindukuti and her group studied the appearance of gamma wave in the brain. So they found that during dream sleep the density of gamma wave is found to be more. What does it mean? Gamma wave corresponds to the consolidation of the memory during a state of, during a physiological state called long-term potentiation. It is a physiological state in which the overloaded brain wipes out infinity number of information in the form of dream sleep and consolidates the required information in the form of memory. Looking at the cardiovascular physiology, so many scientists have reported that cardio respiratory stability remains intact in meditators during sleep. There was another big finding. 
the meditator demonstrate sympathovagal balance or meditator demonstrate the balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and this was reported using ecg and one of the major of the ecg or one of the derived major of the ecg is heart rate variability using the heart rate variability the sympathovagal balance was demonstrated or reported suggestive of better autonomic stability during sleep in meditators so this was all about my presentation if you have any queries so please write to me and my email id is sanjeev dot p a t r a patra at siuraj siuraj means central university of rajasthan dot a c dot in i repeat sanjeev dot patra at siuraj dot a c dot in so i conclude my presentation here if you have any question so please write to me and i will keep answering all your questions through email so i wind up my presentation here thank you thank you so much thank i express my heartfelt thanks to the organizers who have given me an opportunity to speak on sleep thank you so much